Hi, I'm Drew. And I'm Joe with Resolute Property Management. As a former home inspector and current landlord that owns several rental properties of my own, Drew and I wanted to talk about why it's important not to let tenants make repairs or improvements on rental properties. And as a landlord owning one rental property of my own and managing repairs and maintenance for Resolute, we're here to talk about the importance and potential risk of letting tenants perform maintenance or repairs. In most cases, it is up to the tenant to keep the premises in good, clean, and habitable condition throughout the tenancy. However, when it comes to major repairs such as plumbing, electrical, or carpentry, you don't want a tenant trying to fix those issues. In fact, these repairs can end up costing you a lot of money in the long run. That's the case especially if the tenant isn't actually skilled enough to be making those repairs. It's okay for a tenant to replace a light bulb, AC filters, or water filters, maybe in refrigerators, but major repairs need to be left to professionals. Two points to consider are that the tenants may ignore the repairs, resulting in more damage over time and deferred maintenance. This is why routine walkthrough inspections are important. Allowing a tenant to make repairs is also a liability. A landlord's insurance policy won't cover injuries or property damage that the tenant causes while making these repairs. So this, these mistakes can be expensive. You want your resident to feel comfortable reporting maintenance and repair issues directly to you or your property manager. An open tenant landlord communication helps small problems stay small. That way they won't accumulate into bigger and more expensive issues. Thank you all for watching. Joe and Drew with Resolute Property Management. For further videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.